Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento 42FNA. Give me one second. There's an echo coming in here. Uh, now we've got it corrected, and let's move on. Let's talk about copper here, folks. We spent a lot of time in the newsletter over the weekend looking at this on the uh, long-term weekly. We're setting up here at some pretty good resistance. We did make a slightly higher high tonight or early this morning by just a little bit, but looking at this, on the daily chart, you'll see that uh, we have these multiple. See, we almost hit the 786 on the weekly up here at uh, 416. We're trading at 413 right now. But we did back off $2 last night. And I was uh, saying in the video, I said, well, let's lower our stop down. So that's what I did. I don't know whether you did that or not, but uh, the original stop was supposed to be above 417 because that was above this level right here. That's what it's uh, what's what's hanging on right now. I'm having a really rough day today, folks, with the allergies. Uh, we're going to hit our first 80 degree day today, and uh, I'm going to be uh, <laughs> be struggling along. Hopefully, uh, Rich Anderson is going to be our <clears throat> Rich Anderson is going to be our guest here uh, at the break, and we're going to talk about the wheat and some of the other things. And wheat is one that we've been watching very closely. It looked like we were going to get filled this morning. I saw it collapsing, and then all of a sudden it came within four cents of the buy point and immediately rallied 18 cents. So it still hasn't quite made that target, but maybe we missed it. We'll have to wait and see if uh, if that's going if that's going to be the case. Uh, later on this week, we're going to have a couple of uh, really nice guests. Uh, we're going to have uh, Shane Smullyan on Thursday and Norm Winsky uh, on Friday. Those are the guests that we're going to be have. Uh, have looking at coming up uh, this week. So those are the main things we're looking at here this morning. So let's uh, we're going to look at a few currencies this morning. We're going to look at Apple and Tesla. We have some request. We have some requests for that, and then we'll find out what the rest of these things are doing as we move on through the uh, rest of the trading day here. Okay, we'll talk about what we're watching here. Maybe that'll help you in your trading. We'll find out. So stay with us, please. 